Hi, this is Deb from Business Building Shortcuts, and in this short video we're going to look at how to forward and mask a domain name or a URL um, and do it to directly from within your domain registration company, and in our case this is GoDaddy. When you forward a domain name, that means that if someone clicks on URL A, which would be the one you're forwarding, they would be taken to URL B and if you only just forward that they're going to see URL B in their browser window so let's say that you had created uh, my affiliate product link would be URL A and it's the link that you want to give people you want to put that one in your articles in your blog posts in your tweets and you want to use that to send people to a Clickbank product for example or um, another product somewhere on the web that you have an affiliate link for and instead of giving out that big long ugly affiliate link you want to send them to my affiliate product if you do that but you don't mask it when they click on that link my affiliate product they're going to be taken to that affiliate products web page and they will see that long ugly link up in their browser window if you forward it and mask it they will continue to see my affiliate product URL in their upper domain in their browser window even though they'll be on the actual web page of the affiliate product you wanted to send people to. So if you're doing this you could use it if you're redirecting your affiliate links you could also do it through a different kind of redirect but this is the simplest way to do it. Now the other thing that you could use that for is the what I'm going to be showing you today in our case, we have a regular weekly teleseminar called Shortcuts Teleseminars. And instead of having people have to check their email every week to see what the instant teleseminar link is for this week's teleseminar, we just forward and mask our domain name to the upcoming teleseminar. And that way, people only have to remember th that one URL, shortcutsteleseminar.com and they don't have to always go in and check that over and over. Another way you might use this is if you have a review site, for example, and you do a regular um, product of the week or product of the month that you want to send people to that you're marketing, you could have a URL that sounded something like Deborah Recommends, and instead of sending them to that different URL every single time, every single week or month, you could just they would always know that for each month, for example, they would go into Deborah Recommends and they would find out what the new product is that you're recommending. Now there may be a reason that you want them to always check their email or go back to your blog to find out what the link is, but if you want to make it easy for them so that they come to the product instead, then this is the way to do it. So let's go in and I'll show you how I'm going to change this for our teleseminar. Okay, here I am at GoDaddy, and I've entered my data, and I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Okay, this is telling me that some of my domains are expiring. They're really not, because I have Auto Renew, which is a, a feature that automatically renews them, and so this is off topic, but if you do have domains you should that you don't want to accidentally disappear on you, you should always choose Auto Renew. Anyway, let's go into our Domain Manager. Okay, when I log in and I look at all my domain names that I've registered, I've got a whole bunch of them, I would look for, and you can see how this is grayed out up on top here. Those are kind of just like in shadow form. It's because you haven't selected a domain name to work with. So what I want you to do is scroll around in here until you find the domain name that you want to forward and mask. In our case, it's shortcutsteleseminars.com. I would just click on the little box to the left of it, and when I do that, you see that all these guys kind of become brighter. That means you can work with them now. And so what we want to do is we want to go into this little guy up here that says Manage Domain Forwarding or Forward, that little green arrow. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, so this is the little dialog box that comes up after you click on that little uh, forward arrow. And it might look different from this, but don't worry, just click on that little arrow and work on it. Now forwarding, you have to enable forwarding, and you are forwarding the domain name that you clicked. So in this case, I'm forwarding shortcutsteleseminars.com 
to forward to this URL and I paste it in the new URL and I want to do this temporarily because it's not going to be permanently pointing over there it's it's going to be something that I'm going to change regularly now instead of clicking OK now you want to go ahead and look here on masking because if you click on OK it will go away so what you want to do is enable the masking and then what title do you want to show up for you when you do the masking so you would just type something in there in our case it's our weekly Ask Devin Minders Teleseminar you can enter in um, description and keyword meta tags on this which would be really important if you are forwarding this permanently but um, other than that you would just click on enable masking and then go ahead and click OK after you click OK and it submits it, it, you should come back to something that says something like, your changes have been submitted, please allow a few minutes for the changes to take effect. So now let's give it a few minutes and then we'll put that URL into our browser bar up here and we'll see what happens. Hopefully it will take us to that new URL. Okay, we've given it some time. So let's go see if um, it has redirected. So I'm going to go in here and type in shortcut teleseminars. Here. I don't have to spell it again. And look at that. It goes directly here. Now the interesting thing is this is, I'm sure you'll recommend uh, recognize an instant teleseminar uh, login page. And you know how it usually has that long link with the uh, ID and all that up here and you can see that it has capped this is the masking part the redirect part was that I typed that in and it took us to the new instant teleseminar page for this week's um, teleseminar this July 7th you can see when I'm doing it I'm actually doing it on the 6th making this video but you can see that it also kept the URL up here at the top instead of changing to the URL for um, instant teleseminar so this is another way that you can keep that private because people aren't going to be able to capture that um, actual page identifier for instant teleseminar for example and come back here whenever they want to if you have it on replay um, they will have to go wherever you're pointing them with your shortcuts teleseminars but it also makes it so much easier and then this lets them know that they are in the right place because they continue to see their URL up in your browser window so that is as easy as it is to create a redirect um, using forward and mask from your domain purchase uh, company and in our case it was GoDaddy I hope that was helpful. You guys have a great day.